you need anything else, you know where to find me. All right, thank you. Well, this is very cozy. What? Who are you? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. that indicated that someone here knows me. I should have been more careful, and maybe I should have hidden the, my Dragonborn ability. But now someone knows I'm here. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find a place to stay and... Just walk around the city a little bit. Hopefully they don't have any cut purses out here at night. Looks like there might be a stable back here according to the map. But it's been a long day. Wait, what is this chest here? A hidden stash? Okay, soul gem. Mm, nothing exceptional. I don't know, milk thistle. Do I know what this is? All right, I guess the stable is on the other Good side. Stop. What is it? Come on. It's always exciting coming to a new land. Hello? Can I help you? Hmm. Um, well here, have a coin. Bless you, sir. Bless you. See you around. Right. Card. See it. Report it. What is it? Hello. Can I help you? horse do you sell? I sell paint horses. They're leaner and more agile than the hulking horses you'll find across the border in Skyrim. Admittedly, there are better breeds of horses elsewhere in Cyrodiil, but none of them come as cheaply as mine. Oh, really? So your horses are faster than the ones I can find in Skyrim? Faster and leaner indeed. Might not be able to withstand quite as many sword blows, mind you. But who cares about that, eh? Unless you tend to use your horse as some sort of fighting partner. Alright, well I'd like to buy one. Sure thing. Got one all ready if you have the coin. But 3,000? That's a bit steep. Okay, here you go. Great! Got her all saddled up for you, out in the yard. Take good care of her. Alright, thank you. Alright, that'll be for you, Nomadis. Hello there. Hello. Why did you become an acolyte of St. Martin? To ask me why I became an acolyte of St. Martin is to ask why thunder strikes, why rain falls, or why the wolf hunts. It is because this is what comes naturally to me. Being an acolyte of St. Martin comes naturally to you? You seem confused. Allow me to explain further. Please. We all follow a path through life, 
We all desperately attempt to influence it to go a certain way, or lead us to a certain destination. Others desperately attempt to steer it away from a destination. The amount of influence we can exert upon that path varies, but is invariably limited. In many ways, we must all make the most of what life gives us, and adapt to its trials accordingly. Without boring you with specifics, it would be appropriate to say that my life so far has taught me many lessons of sorrow and grief. I have constantly been set back, and my attempts to change my course have always been met with bitter resistance by the winds of life. It is through St. Martin's example that I truly find my inspiration to become more than I am. It is in this that I am enlightened, and hope to be reborn. Alright, thank you. Until next time. Nomadus? Do you even know who St. Martin is? I didn't think so. I don't know him either. Come on. Let's talk to this person. He looks like he's trouble. Oh, this is the courier that brought me that missive. I'm sure you couldn't tell me who gave it to you, could you? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Hmm, I figured. Okay, come on, Nematis. I think that's the courier code. Guard. This isn't in here. Is there a sign? Oh, here it is. Okay. The Gerald View Inn. Can I help you? The woods color streaming under. Are you kidding me? Oh. My goodness, that's horrible. Oh, are you a mage? Damnable tavern. Damnable owner! How dare he allow that lizard to engage in such a salacious display! S Scandalous! What's your problem with the restful watchman? It's a dingy squad filled with criminals, rats, and lice. The amount of underhanded deals and crooked business that goes on there, it beggars belief! I want its proprietor to land in hot water with our dear guard captain. He deserves it, no? Say, would you help me with that? Um... Why exactly should I help you? You should help me because the tavern is filled with criminals. They deal with bandits. What? They steal. They rob. Surely it's only right that they face justice for what they do. Oh, well, in that case, yes, I'll help you. I'll do it. Excellent. As it so happens, I'm a mage by trade. I have access to many magical items from my home of Eleanor. Take this. It's a very special memory gem. I have one active at all times, and this particular one recorded everything that happened at the tavern that night. Take it, and let the guard captain listen to it. Irrefutable evidence! I'm sure he'll see fit to take action then. Hmm. It's rather funny that you won't give him the crystal, but okay. Ah. Oh. Good day. Hmm. How are you, sir? How's business? All right, I suppose. My sales pitch isn't very good, I know, but I still get a fair few customers. Renard, Everyone needs something to wear, I guess. Distressing. I am distressing Goodbye. customers. That's what I just said. Yes. You are. You. You dare. How dare you? Uh, hello, mm -hmm. sir. Outrage. Oh. You hired okay, me you looked so important. Smart, I so not. far below my standards, and now you oh, proclaim my music as distressful. I'm done what can I get you? Tough day. I just wish my heron was here. He would always make these long days seem much shorter. I'm sorry. Don't mind me. Just a soldier's wife missing her husband. No. Oh, what happened to your husband? He was stationed at Fort Pale Pass. But we haven't heard anything for months. Because None of the soldiers passing the through here on leave have seen him either. I've sent letter after letter, but they still haven't told me anything. I have no idea where he is, what happened to him, or if he's even still alive. Fort Pale Pass? The Imperial Fort placed right on the border to Skyrim. Mostly watches for illegal border crossing. Have you tried to contact him directly? 
Yes, many times. I've sent letter after letter, but heard nothing. I can send as many letters as I want, but if Heron isn't even at the fort, then he's hardly going to see them, is he? I could look for Heron. You would? I'd be indebted to you if you did, stranger. Like I said, he is... was... garrisoned up at Fort Pale Pass. It's right on the border to Skyrim. Good luck. And please, stranger, I beg of you. Find my Heron. All right, I will. Is that horrible bard gone? Hello? Welcome to the Gerald View. What can I get you? Um, have you heard any rumors? There's a Thalmor agent here in Brew. No, not the Making Thalmor. Making sure no one violates the Concordat. Oh. So I'd advise you not to, if you don't want them to slap you in irons. All right, thank you. So how's business? Business at the Gerald View is always good, due to our exceptional standards for customer service. We strongly believe that if you build it, they will come. That's what I hear. Tell me about the Gerald View. We're renowned through all Cyrodiil and beyond as the finest inn, restaurant, and entertainment location in all Tamriel. Well... We spare no expense for our customers' pleasure. I see. Do you need any work done? As it happens, yes, I do. I need the shipping request delivered to Greenwood. My regular courier is unavailable. If you're able to act in his stead, I'll reward you with coin. All right, I'll do it. Excellent. Take this to Afur Formalius at Greenwood, down where the Geralds meet the Great Forest. I'll deliver payment on your return. Okay, um, let's see. Any other rumors? I heard the general store, Icewind Traders, got robbed by the Khajiit, Dartakto. What? Or so Cetus says. Anything else? You ever hear the history of Cloud Ruler Temple? Of course you have. Used to be a home of the Emperor's Blades. Now it's all ruins and overgrowth. Sorry end for a glorious bastion of the Empire. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have another rumor, would you? I hear the Count's cracking down on criminals in Bravel. About time. One more? You know that bard, Renat Eventoned? Oh gosh, yeah. yes. I hear the Jukanis paid him to watch over and entertain their kid, Banus, while they were out of town. Apparently, his attempts at lullabies scared the child so much, he ran away from the bar oh, no. and cried in the street until his parents got back. Wow, I don't blame him. All right, that's enough rumors for one night. Um, I'd like to rent a room, please. Ah, you did well to choose the Gerald View. Your room rental also includes complimentary access to the Gerald View bathhouse on the lower floor. Peruse it at your leisure. Our customers find it very rejuvenating. Oh, the room's just this way. You. Please, follow me. That's certainly a, an unexpected perk. Usually it's complimentary breakfast, but a bathhouse? Wow. So I guess I don't get a window view. You need anything else? You know where to find me. All right, thank you. Well, this is very cozy. What? Who are you? Oh, who in oblivion told that guy he's a good singer? I've heard Daedros do better. Sir, this is my room. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. How may little Dartacto help a big one such as yourself? All right, what, what are you complaining? Who, who is it you're complaining about? His name is Rinad, even though... Yes, we know. The damned fool apparently thinks he's the divine's gift to singing. He's terrible, and he's loud. I think everyone he knows. His performances from the streets. It's getting very irritating. The beggar, Relente, has shown a particular interest in getting Rinad to shut up. For some reason, Ultra. you Did could you go the speak with like him. Ask? Perhaps he'd even pay you. <laughs> Do you trust me, Stannis? 
Have you seen that? Okay, are you a hunter? Yes, indeed. This one labors long and hard to earn his keep. Hunting can be tiring, exhausting, but this one must press on. Although, hmm, this one is feeling a bit lazy today. What if you were to bring him some bear pelts instead? He will pay you well. Yes, you're right. How do I know you'll give me a good price? Because this one has lucrative contracts with the merchants in Bruma that ensure he makes a profit. So Dartato will simply offer you a price between the standard going rate of the pelts and the lucrative price he will receive. Profit for everyone, yes? Except Sidis Perusis. He has no idea he's being ripped off. Well, all right, I mean... It looks like I'm here in Cyrodiil to stay. I might as well keep myself busy. I'll do it. Excellent. Just return to this one when you have, oh, say, ten of the pets. Oh, I have five already? Okay, does this mean that you're leaving so I can get some sleep? Okay, good night. It is times like these that one craves sugar. Mattis, I think you're standing in the way. All right, um, anyhow. I'm gonna get some rest. Well, yeah, oh good, thank goodness. There. Can't believe he was sitting here in the room. All right, Nomadis. I'm gonna get some sleep. We can, um, sleep in shifts. Okay, that was a good night's sleep. Come on, let's go. I guess this is the complimentary breakfast after all, okay. Come, warm yourself by the hearth. If you want food or drink, I can show you our menu. Printed on only the finest parchment, for your hands and your satisfaction. I see, okay. Ralgar Silverplow. Retired hunter and tracker at your service. No. I was trying to talk to that man, but... What can I help you with? Hello. Good morning. You're a hunter? Used to be, yes. I hunted game all over County Bruma. From the Geralds to the Vallis and the South, into Coral. Bagged some pretty impressive beasts in my day. Say, would you like to hear about the time I killed the most monstrous grizzly in all of Cyrodiil? Actually, I need to get going. Ah, all right then. Come back another time and we can swap stories. Certainly. Okay, Nomadis. Make sure you get enough to eat. Let's go. Potions, elixirs, poultices, alchemical wonders, all here. I got a pretty good selection of the here. Why not focus on my more the agreeable? Not the resplendent boutique of magical right, wonders. There's a building back here. Let's um see what this is. Castle Bruma. Excuse me, sorry to bother. I don't suppose you've seen any priceless Sakaviri heirlooms gallivanting around Bruma, have you? 
Um, no, I I'm sorry. I just got to Broma. Akaviri heirlooms. Priceless Akaviri heirlooms. Seen any? No heirlooms, sorry. As I suspected, sorry to bother you, citizen. Just, uh, let me know if any do crop up, yeah? Thanks. All right, who are you? I've heard about your silver tongue. I'll let you talk your way out of an arrest, though. Bear that in mind. How have you heard about my tongue? What's this? What's this about Akaviri heirlooms? A whole lot of uproar about nothing, that's what. The Count's been nagging my life and soul out about the damn things. You see, the Carvanes have a sort of family tradition. They've acquired a taste for Akaviri artifacts, constantly collecting more and more. Been going on for centuries now. Well, it turns out poor old Count Desilus... <coughs> Count Carvane? Isn't too happy that his collection's been stolen. Desilus? He has two names? Your tone. Tensions between you and the Count? No, not tensions as such, just... I'm tired. I've had four sleepless nights in a row. The Count's talking my ear off about these artifacts, and it's stopping me from tending to more important issues. Uh, not that I'm disloyal to Count Carvane, of course. I've never had reason to dislike our ruler. Better him than some of the other Counts and Countesses in the province. You mentioned more important issues. Yes, this damned artifact business doesn't affect anyone except the Count. While I'm out chasing after shiny baubles, people are getting killed by bandits and waylaid on the road. I mean, we've got Thorina's cutters roaming the Geralds and harrying travelers for Stendar's sake. And you I'm wandering Bruma after trinkets, like some lost paint horse looking for its master. Yes, we were attacked by a highwayman yesterday. I see that there is definitely a problem here. Um, well, could you use some help? I... Well, that's... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Absolutely. This is driving me crazy. Just bring them back to me when you've found them, and I'll be extremely appreciative. And I mean extremely appreciative. Seriously. I'm like offing myself right about now. Okay, well... Um, I think I was supposed to come see you because I have a memory gem. It's a recording of the events in Restful Watchmen. Oh, well, this should be interesting. Go ahead, let's listen. Until next time. No, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sir? Apparently, we can't listen to the gym, but have any suspects? Not in particular. Then again, the low lives of Bruma don't exactly hide themselves all that well. The shadier tavern in town, the restful watchman, full of thieves, bandits, thugs, and other miscreants, might be a decent place to start your search. How did the thief even get inside the castle? I have no idea how they'd manage that, honestly. Either adept stealth or good luck. Probably a bit of both. When and how were the artifacts stolen? I'm not too sure on the details of that, to be honest. Rignar, the castle steward, was the first one who noticed them missing. Might be worth speaking to him, if you think that's interesting evidence to dig up. What exactly was stolen? Akaviri artifacts. I don't know anything more specific than that. Rignar and the Count both told me, but honestly, it flew in one ear and out the other. If you want to know exactly what artifacts to keep your eyes peeled for, talk to Rignar. I'm sure he can help you more there. Why would the thief want the artifacts? Monetary value, or...? Almost definitely the resale value. Akaviri artifacts are very often one of a kind. And they can fetch a very high price to the right buyers. Someone possessing those artifacts could find themselves becoming very wealthy very quickly. I suspect that's the motive here. Well, all right. So, 
What is it like being Bruma's guard captain? It's tough. On one side, you've got criminals. The kind that like to hide behind law and policy to wriggle out of justice. On the other, you've got politics, constantly meddling in our affairs as everyone walks on eggshells. And here I am in the center, just trying to make things work for the people. Sometimes I wish I'd stayed down in the Imperial City. All right. Until next time. Um, wait, actually, I think I had another Alteration question. expert, huh? Well, all right, well, next time then. Um... I'm sorry about all the chatting, Nematis. I'm trying to get our uh, agenda lined up while we're here. I know you like adventuring as much as I do, so... I am preparing our adventures. Now, what's going on over here? Hello? Oh, you're Rignar. I'm the Count Stewood here in Pruma. If there is anything you need, I'll try my best to help you. Oh, okay. Well, Aldous hired me. Let's talk about the stolen artifacts. So the guard captain's actually looking into it. Excellent. Can't have the Carvane artifact collection lost to some random burglar. Did you see the thief itself? What happened? I didn't know. I was just doing the rounds here in the castle. I was about to go to bed for the night when I noticed something. Normally, there's a little glint in the corner of my eye. The light bouncing off of one of the Akaviri amulets. But this time, nothing. I went to investigate, and the artifacts were gone. I'm sorry I can't be of more use. What artifacts, exactly, are missing? Some amulets, some rings, a katana. All of Akaviri design. Priceless relics. Very valuable and very well loved by the Count. All right, thank you. Best of luck with your investigation. Are you the Count? Oh. Is there something I Hello. can do for you? Can you tell me about yourself? I am De Silas Carvain. I have the singular honor of acting as Count of Bruma, defending her walls and ruling over her people. I am young, and I know some use this as ammunition with which to criticize me, but they are short-sighted, and they are foolish. I act in the best interest of Bruma at all times. I will always fight valiantly to defend her from threats both within and without. That is what matters. How does Bruma fare? Well enough, I suppose. The Great War mostly spared Bruma. Thank the Divines for that. Most of Cyrodiil didn't have such good fortune. How did the Great War affect Bruma? It didn't, mostly. And thank the Divines for that. Of course, there were Dominion scouts roaming the Gerals on occasion, but that's to be expected. Minor skirmishes are not what people refer to when they speak of the horrors of the Great War, though. They mean the Battle of the Red Ring. They mean the sacking of Anvil. And these are evils that Bruma was spared. Her walls remain unharmed, and her buildings remain upright. That being said, Cyrodiil herself reels after the Great War, emotionally and psychologically. It took its toll on the whole province, and Bruma is no exception. Bruma may be spared the physical scars of the Great War, but the mental scars, they run just as deep here as they do anywhere. Are there any troubles facing the city? Not particularly, no. I certainly don't envy my friends across the border in Skyrim, though. These are truly dark times for the Empire. Let us hope that this storm blows over, as of all the rest. But something makes me think this one's different. I fear Tamriel will never be the same again. If it's work you seek, speak with my Viscount, Marcius Carvain. He's more likely to have work for you than I. He spends most of his time in the castle. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was a pleasure meeting you. And I you. can handle most smaller matters. Try not to bother the Count unless it's important. He's a busy man. Of course, aren't we all? All right, Nematis, let's go.
Let's walk around a little bit more. Alright, so this this is Castle Bruma. And we found the inn. this? Hello? Razada the Resplendent greets you! How can my arcane ability and esoteric enlightenment help you on this fine day? Got any work that needs doing? Yes, indeed. To my great regret, a few scalawags here in Bruma appear to have not paid their bills for their enchanted weapons from Razada. I am beside myself with angst about this, as you can no doubt imagine. So, my fair and, might I say, rather imposing friend, if you would be willing to speak to these scoundrels and acquire my warranted compensation, I would be most obliged. All right, sure. Excellent! Allow me to arm you with more knowledge of the aforementioned mischief makers. You'll need to speak with Roland Wickert, the young chap at the Synod Conclave here in Bruma. Stantis Falaria is the second of these reprobates, the owner of the Geraldview Tavern. The third is Stable Master Ila the Upright. Clearly the title was given rather than deserved. Do this for me, and I shall bestow coin upon you for each, and a truly copious recompense indeed once all three mischief makers are dealt with. All right, well. Um, let me see your unique enchanted items. Uh, of course, of course. Excellent. Well, I have five fabulous, unique items in stock at the moment. The first is the Wooden Staff of Awesome Conflagration, which summons a tremendous fiery inferno at your target location. Extremely dangerous. The second is the Scepter of Frosty Entombment, which is truly a unique frost staff. It will trap your target in a block of ice for ten minutes. The third is the Blade of Prepotence which causes your target, any target at all, to shrink, becoming supremely weak and vulnerable. Fourth is the Staff of Titan Summoning, which summons a mighty Daedric Titan at your target location. It will demolish all in its way. Fifth is the Rod of Potency, which will certainly <laughs> bring great pleasure. That I can guarantee. So, which will it be? Hmm. Um, nothing, thanks. I think you're embellishing the truth about these items. Your loss, but do reconsider. All right, where's the Mattis? Oh, okay. Who is this? Hello? <laughs> Stenar Seno at your service. I'm no Nord, but I'll keep drinking mead until I become one. Are you an adventurer? Well, I would be, but unfortunately, I've got some debts to pay off. I've been doing odd jobs around town to help raise the symptoms. What kind of debts? Sorry, lad. That's something a man like me keeps private. Of course. But... I need you to look deeply into my eyes. It might feel good to get it off your chest. You know, I think you're right. Don't tell anyone, though, okay? Well, you see, my friend, for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to go to Skyrim. The Nords, their culture, their history, it all just appeals to me. Unfortunately, something's always kept me tied here to Bruma. First, it was my Ma, who was sick for a long time. And then it was, well, let's just say that my appreciation for Nord culture led me to sharing their fervent worship of a, uh, certain god shall we say. And unfortunately, someone found out. In the end, this someone promised not to sell me out to Armion, but in return for this favor, they require a very large sum of money. So that's the debt I owe now. I've been trying to work it off ever since then. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. So you were worshipping Talos. Yes, well, I got myself into this mess, and I'll get myself out of it. Don't worry too much about me. Until there's a problem, All the right gates then. stay open. These people need help, Armion. Would you really refuse them? On second thought, don't answer that. 
Alright, let's go. I heard some voices, but we'll keep walking. Oh, what's this? The Synod Conclave. You know, I thought I was going to become a member of the Synod, but they, they laughed at me and rejected my application. Now let's see how they regard me. Indeed, this is odd. And you say it just appeared here out of thin air? It isn't mine, that's for sure. Where do you think it came from? What is with this commotion? Where did that come from? Who made this mess? That's the thing. We don't know. It just appeared. Out of thin air. Maybe that stranger over there has something to do with it. No, oh, of course. Blame it on me. So, which one of you do I talk to? You there. Are you the cause of this mess in my conclave? No. You say that with confidence, as though you know exactly what mess I'm referring to. That fills me with a certain degree of suspicion. You know what? You better watch your tone. You have no idea who you're talking to. Why and how would I have made that mess? Well, I'm not entirely sure. But I suppose within the unknowable depths of the arcane, something such as this is not entirely implausible. That said, I suppose it would be downright foolish of you to strut in here after causing the mess. Well then, I apologize for the inconvenience. Welcome to the Bruma Synod Conclave. Attendant, clean up this mess, would you? And take that statue to the back for examination. Uh, yes, first adjunct. I, mean, I don't even see a mess in here. All this over a statue in the middle of the floor, really? So are we done here, or do you have something else to tell me? Alright, I guess we're done. Alright, let me get a blessing of... Julianos. I'm Roland Wickard. Uh, hello? Oh, you're Roland Wickard. Hmm. What do you think about the College of Whispers? I think the same as everyone else around here about them. Mm hmm. Which is? That they're another magical organization that the Synod have no standing relationship with. You're acting kind of strange. Anyhow, well, now let me know a little bit more about you. What do you do here? Me? Yes, I'm you. I'm the resident destruction expert here. Really? Well, if you want to call me an expert, I wouldn't. I'm still learning, honing my craft, as they say. My ultimate goal is to perfect the art of defensive spellcasting. I want to be able to conjure the raw power of combative forces of nature and beyond at will. Uh, but that'll have to come later. Hopefully sooner later, rather than later later. Hopefully. All right, well, I'm, unfortunately, I'm here to collect payment for Razada. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I completely slipped my mind. Uh, here you go. As it is, I don't exactly have the time oh, for trifles such easy. as this. You seem like a helpful fellow. Would you be willing to help discover the source of this mysterious object? If so, let me know. I could use someone of strong wit and not merely of strong arm. You know what? You need to investigate it yourself. Welcome to the Bruma Synod Conclave. How may I help you? Tell me about the Synod. We are an organization of mages, officially sanctioned by the Empire. We play much the same role as the Mages Guild of years gone by. We seek to protect magical knowledge for future generations, and ensure that the secrets of Magicka are kept only in responsible hands. Are there any magical threats in the Geralds? Magical threats, eh? Well, beyond the normal hedge wizards that you'll find just about anywhere, there are indeed some more... troubling rumors. I've heard tell of some necromancers holed up in Underpaw Cave, performing their usual heretical rituals and incantations. They threaten the good name of the Synod, and the Conclave can't spare anyone.
Why do they threaten the Synod's good name? Because their actions are vile. They misappropriate magic, and, through their improper use of it, sow the seeds of fear and distrust of the Arcane in the general populace. And if they distrust the Arcane, they distrust the Synod. You understand. Well, since you're a bit pretentious, I'm wondering would there be a reward available if I were to clear them out, because I'm not going to do this out of the generosity or kindness of my heart. I imagine there would. Such an act would be of tremendous benefit to the Synod. I shall write to our headquarters in the Imperial City and request a dispatch of gold. You do that. It will be available upon your return. Should you accept the task, of course. All right, I'll clear them out for you. I... see. Necromancers aren't a force to be trifled with, stranger. I implore you to be careful. <laughs> I shall see about procuring a reward while you're away, for when... if you return successfully. Best of luck. Underpaul is to the southwest of Bruma. Should be rather easy to find. All right, thank you. Okay, Nomadis. Let's go. All right, there seems to be so much to do here, so many people to meet. Have we spoken to you? Mm -hmm. You're the beggar. Okay. Rosada the Resplendent invites you to his boutique of magical wonders. Don't delay. Patronize What is today. this? Northern Arms, okay. Hello. Hello. Oh. Well, you, you're, you're Holgard. I met your brother in Snowstone Rest. He's fled the province. I... You what? And what's that there? A letter he wrote for you. Here. I... I see. Cutters, huh? I swear, those damned bandits are getting bolder and bolder. To rule the entire county soon. I'm... Here. Have this. A little bit of coin. Least I can do. Here's hoping Avar can return here in time. Yes, let's hope so. Alright, good day. Where did the Mattis go? All right. Um. Let's go to the stable. See if we can find it. And check out your horse. What's this? Renaud's house. Isn't that the, um... Oh, I'm sorry. Now, who is Renaud? I can't remember. Is that the... the the bard? No, I'm probably getting him confused. See, this mm -hmm. is the problem I get when I meet so many people at once. Wait, who is this? Hello, sir? My weapon wants a temperin. Things want to kill him. Fetch me three iron ingots to temper my weapon and my book of killin' so I know who needs killin'. Then I'll give you gold. Do you always greet people this way? Only when my weapon wants a temperin' and things want a killin'. Alright then, consider it done. Good. My killin' arm's itching to do more killin'. Alright. What can I do for you? Um, just follow me. Let's see what this is. This is... Celis Perellius house. Alright, we're not breaking in. I'm Bonus. My dad is Albecius. What's your name? What is this? Icewind Trader, so... We can sell off stuff. No, I'm not going to remember where any of this stuff is. 
Okay, this was the entrance. Let's see if we can find the stables. I would imagine they'd be outside. Yes, they're over here. to do for now. Let's see, which, which horse would be yours? This one? Is this one? Oh, that one would be stolen. Okay. Calling Dr. Bombay! Calling Dr. Bombay! Emergency! Come right away! Oh, good to see you, Doctor. All right, Nematis. That horse there is yours. Okay, great. All that walking around yesterday was exhausting. It's good to have a horse. All right, it's time to do some adventuring. Let's go!